the main topic is acid base and salt and the sub topic is about the preparation of the salt how salt can be prepared first uh, the definition of a salt how we define the term salt the salt means when hydrogen of the acid is replaced by the metal we call that as a salt so whenever we have like an acid we have hydrogen but if that hydrogen is replaced by the metal we call that as a salt example hcl hcl is known as hydrochloric acid so hcl is refers to or known as hydrochloric acid but when this hydrogen is replaced by any metal like example in place of this hydrogen if we write any metal sodium calcium magnesium any metal we write so that hydrogen is replaced by the metal so instead of hydrogen if the metal is present what we call that we call that as a salt so basically this is sodium chloride salt another example if we say HNO3, HNO3 that is known as the nitric acid. So HNO3 is nitric acid, but if this hydrogen is replaced by the metal, this is nitric acid but instead of this hydrogen we write any metal like example calcium which is group 2 so calcium valency will be plus 2 and nitrate is minus 1 so formula for calcium nitrate will be CaNO3 in a bracket 2 so as you can see this instead of hydrogen we have a metal so instead of hydrogen if we have a metal what we call basically this is calcium nitrate salt so whenever the hydrogen of the acid is replaced by the metal the substance which is formed is refers to salt and the salt as we already discussed in the topic 2 which is about experimental techniques the salt can be soluble all the salts are solid at room temperature but what will happen when we add water then there are two possibilities some of the salts might dissolve we call that as a soluble salts and some of the salts does not dissolve and we call them as insoluble salt so a salt when hydrogen of the acid is replaced by the metal that is called salt but what happened then there are two possibilities for a salt so all the salts are solid at room temperature but some of the salt dissolve in water like example you have a container which is filled with water if we add if we add this solid to water sometime the salt dissolve when the salt dissolve it disappear we don't see anything so what we call this salt we call that as a soluble salt but sometime what happened when we add the solid the salt that does not dissolve so if the salt does not dissolve what we call this we call that as insoluble salt and there is a table which you have to learn about the soluble and insoluble salts so remember all the salts are solid but when they are added to water some dissolve some does not dissolve 
so what are the soluble salts which can dissolve in water and what are insoluble salts which does not dissolve in water so the table all nitrates are soluble so any salt which is having no3 they are soluble most chlorides are also soluble except 3 the three chlorides which are not soluble is silver mercury and lead these are the chlorides which are insoluble does not dissolve most sulfates most of the salts which are having so4 are also soluble except 3 which does not dissolve in water calcium sulfate barium sulfate and lead sulfate these are the three salts which does not dissolve and most carbonates are insoluble most of the carbonates salts which are having co3 they do, are insoluble does not dissolve except again three what are the three exceptions sodium potassium and ammonia so these are the three salts which three carbonate salts which dissolve in water so most of the salts all nitrates are soluble means any salt which is having no3 at the last the salt which is having no3 at the last even any a metal is connected but if it is having no3 it will always be soluble most chloride most of the salt which are having chloride are soluble except three silver chloride does not dissolve mercury chloride and lead chloride these three chloride does not dissolve most sulfates most of the salts which are having so4 are also soluble except three calcium sulfate barium sulfate and lead sulfate these are the three sulfates which are insoluble and most of the carbonates are soluble like most of most of the carbonate are insoluble carbonate means they have co3 except three sodium carbonate potassium carbonate and ammonium carbonate ammonium carbonate is nh4 in a bracket to co3 so the this table is very important you have to learn this table the soluble and insoluble salts it, so it's totally based on memorization you have to learn this table to identify because there is a different way to prepare types of the salt if you want to prepare soluble salt we use different technique if you want to prepare insoluble salt we use a different technique So example, if you want to prepare soluble salts, the methods which we can use, the all the characteristic of acids, or all the reactions of acid, can be used to prepare soluble salts and what were the reactions of acid the first when acid plus metal that gives So when acid is mixed with metal, this will give salt and hydrogen. The second is when acid is mixed with 
methyl oxide which is also known as a base or insoluble base it will give salt and water the third one when acid is mixed with metal hydroxide so acid plus metal hydroxide this will result in a formation of salt plus water and the last one when acid is reacting with metal carbonate so acid plus metal carbonate this will result in a formation of salt water and carbon dioxide so these are the four reactions whenever you want to prepare a soluble salt what is the meaning because what happens when acid is reacting with a metal this directly produce a salt but that salt will be dissolved like a solution same thing when acid react with metal oxide this will produce a salt but that salt will be dissolved like it will not exactly form salt it will be a salt solution dissolved salt and from the solution we can obtain the salt by either crystallization or evaporation so if you want to prepare a salt a soluble salt so there are four techniques or there are four ways to prepare a soluble salt number one we can react acid with metal number two we can react acid with metal oxide number three we can react with acid with metal hydroxide and number four we can add acid with metal carbonate so in exam they ask to write the whole experiment like how you will prepare a salt so this is very important even in paper six you will find a question a six mark question is there that experiment to write uh, light an experiment to prepare a salt so this topic is very important so how to prepare a soluble salt or salts which are dissolved in water how we can prepare them so first one preparing a soluble salt the first technique when acid is reacting with metal when acid react with metal as a result what it produce it produces a salt but that salt will be solution plus water so that salt will be a, a salt plus hydrogen not water because it is a metal and one more thing you have to remember that not all of the metal react with acid there is a reactivity series what is the reactivity series here we have potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead copper mercury silver gold and platinum so till lead till this point they can react because in lab we are using a dilute acid so they can react with dilute and concentrated acid both like if acid contain more water or less water they can react with both of them but metals below lead they can react with concentrated acids only so concentrated acid we don't use concentrated acid in the lab that's why we don't observe their uh, formation of the salt very common so whenever dilute acid is there it can react with potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron and lead and as a result what it will do it will produce salt and hydrogen but that salt will be a dissolved salt basically it will be a solution like salt will be dissolved in water and later we can take it out by using either evaporation or 
crystallization. So example, if you want to write an experiment to prepare a salt when acid is reacting with metal. So example, we took hydrochloric acid and we mix hydrochloric acid with sodium. So when hydrochloric acid is mixed with sodium, so as a result what happened because when acid is reacting with the metal, the metal will take position of hydrogen. This sodium will take position of hydrogen. So as a result, the product will be sodium chloride because hydrochloric acid gives chloride salt plus hydrogen will be there. So this is this will be the product but experimentally like experimental procedure how we can work out in terms of experiment. So what we will do we will take a container and we fill this container with dilute acid because in the lab we don't use concentrated acid as they are highly corrosive so we use hydrochloric acid. So we use hydrochloric acid here and then what will be the state acids are aqueous aqueous means acids are always like in dissolve in water or solution so what is the sodium metal it will be solid so we'll take a piece of sodium so this is a sodium metal So when we add this sodium, a piece of sodium to hydrochloric acid, the reaction will occur and as a result what it will form because sodium reacts with hydrochloric acid so it forms sodium chloride. So when it forms sodium chloride this whole solution contains sodium chloride and what happened to the size of this solid because the solid is reacting the sodium is reacting so we will observe the size of the solid will decrease. and because hydrogen gas is there so whenever hydrogen gas is there so we will observe or we'll see bubbles so what are the steps because in exam it is important that you write the steps how you prepare the salt so what are the steps to obtain or form a salt a soluble salt from reaction between acid and metal number one we will add excess of metal. What is the meaning of excess of metal? The term excess means until no more reaction occur like all of the acid is used up and you are left with metal only. So if you use excess of metal like you use greater quantity or greater amount of the metal then as a result what happens as at the end of the experiment the metal will be left as the acid is completely used up because whenever two reactants are there one of the reactants should be in excess like more than enough so that the reaction completed. So first what we did we add excess of the metal like more than enough metal too much metal so that all of the acid used up. The second thing what we do because when we use excess of the metal there will be unreacted metal so we will remove the unreacted metal. by filtration. So the metal which does not react the reaction completed and the metal which does not react example this is an unreacted metal. In this case it is unreacted sodium. So if we have unreacted metal metal which does not react so how we can remove it we will remove the unreacted metal by filtration. So once we remove it by filtration, this metal will be removed and what we are left with, we are left with only a salt solution. So from salt solution, how we can obtain a salt from the salt solution? So there are two ways. 
there are two techniques to obtain a salt from salt solution either you can evaporate like you have a salt solution you supply heat energy you evaporate and the salt will left behind or we can use crystallization so in exam because it's of normally four to six mark questions so it's better you write the points of the crystallization what we do in crystallization in evaporation we remove all of the liquid but in crystallization what we do we heat and concentrate the solution then we cool down the solution and when the crystals form we will again filter them so remove unreacted metal by filtration then use crystallization to obtain salt from solution and better mention the points of the crystallization what are the points in crystallization we will heat and concentrate the solution heat and concentrate the solution means we supply heat energy and remove the liquid out water out so that we'll have greater amount of uh, like in a small quantity we have greater amount of salt so heat can concentrate the solution we will cool down the solution and heat and concentrate the solution till the point of crystallization it means until the crystals start to form and then we will cool down the solution what is the reason why we cool down the solution because at a lower temperature greater amount of solid will be obtained as compared to high temperature so cool down the solution and then the filter uh, we will filter to remove salt crystals and we can dry them we can dry the salt crystals by tissue or you can mention filter paper because filter paper is having a capability to soak up the moisture so when we obtain a salt from the solution we can obtain by this technique is it clear the first method to prepare a soluble salt or obtain a salt from the solution the first when acid react with metal so when acid react with metal it will give salt and hydrogen but that salt will be a solution so these are the points which you have to learn then the second method to prepare a soluble salt is the same technique when acid is reacting with a base or insoluble base which is also called a metal oxide so acid plus base or insoluble base because soluble base is known as alkali or you can also say metal oxide so acid plus insoluble base this will result in a formation of salt plus water and this salt is not the solid salt it will always be a solution a salt solution will form it will not be an a solid salt it will be a solution like salt will be dissolved salt so what we do how we carry out the same procedure is there but this time instead of adding a metal what we do we add excess of metal oxide so but the steps are the same so example if we have say nitric acid and it is mixed with insoluble base such as like calcium oxide metal oxides are also known as insoluble bases which does not dissolve 
in water. So what will be the salt produced if it's a nitric acid? What will be the name of the salt? The, for, the calcium will take position of the hydrogen. So the salt will be calcium because nitric acid gives nitrate salt, hydrochloric acid, chloride salt and sulfuric acid gives sulfate salt. So it will produce calcium nitrate plus water. So we want to prepare this salt. So how we can prepare? It's the same technique. As we discussed, first we take a nitric acid, so first we take a nitric acid, so example here we have nitric acid and then we add insoluble base excess of a solid like too much solid we add in the beginning like when we add the solid, the solid will start to react. But as we are adding excess of the solid, so a time will come when no more solid react and it will be left here. This is calcium oxide. And what we are left with is an unreacted calcium oxide. Because acid is completely used up, so some of the calcium oxide will be left unreacted. Then what we can do, we can use filtration. To remove this metal oxide so these are the steps it's a similar step that's why I copy from the last only few changes are there and when acid was reacting with metal we were adding excess of the metal but now acid is reacting with metal oxide so what we do we'll add excess of metal oxide then we'll remove the unreacted metal oxide by filtration then we'll use crystallization to obtain a salt from the solution and heat concentrate the solution till the crystallization point. We'll cool down the solution and then we'll filter to remove the salt crystals and dry the salt crystals by using a tissue or a filter paper. So same concept is there, same way we prepare the salt. But the only difference is the first one when metal was reacting with acid we use excess of the metal but here we because metal is reacting with metal, metal oxide is reacting with acid so we use excess of metal oxide the metal oxide is solid all acids are aqueous dissolved and this salt which is formed is aqueous and water is a liquid state so this is how we prepare a salt if we want to prepare a salt calcium nitrate this is how it is done so we have a nitric acid as you can see this is a nitric acid when we add this metal oxide calcium oxide this nitric acid solution will turn into calcium nitrate solution we don't see a solid form the salt we don't see the unreacted calcium oxide will be there so this unreacted calcium oxide how we remove that, the one which does not react, we can remove this by filtration. So once this unreacted calcium oxide is removed, like it is not there, then what happened? We are only left with calcium nitrate solution. And this calcium nitrate solution, we want to obtain a salt. We want to take out the salt from the solution. So if you want to take out the salt from the solution, what we can do either we can use evaporation or crystallization like solution we supply heat energy until all of the liquid escape and we are left with salt crystals or you can use crystallization but normally in the lab we use crystallization rather than evaporation and you will find the weightage because if you write evaporation you can only mention one point like heat supply heat energy until all of the liquid escape and solid is left behind. So it's like only one point. But when you write about crystallization, you can write three points in general. So that is why it is appropriate you mention crystallization to prepare salt from the solution. Is it clear the second method to prepare a salt? So all of the reactions of the acid can be used to prepare the salt.
Then the third method is also same. When acid is reacting with metal carbonate. So acid plus metal carbonate, this will give salt, water and carbon dioxide. So the states, when you check the state of acid, all the acids are aqueous like the solution metal carbonate is solid the salt will be aqueous dissolved the water will be liquid and carbon dioxide will be gas these are known as the state symbols which shows what are the changes occur same thing happen first we'll have an acid like say sulfuric acid so if you have a sulfuric acid plus sodium carbonate so when acid react with carbonate what are what is the result it will form salt so which salt is formed here it will because sulfuric acid so it will form sulfate salt and the first name of the salt is always from the metal so it will form sodium sulfate that's right plus water plus carbon dioxide so sodium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide these will these are the products so what happened in the beginning we have again like this is a sulfuric acid then the sodium carbonate is solid so we add this sodium carbonate this is sodium carbonate when we add the sodium carbonate will react and and we use excess excess means like too much or more than enough for a complete reaction so if you use too much sodium carbonate it will react and at the last some of the sodium carbonate will be left so once sodium carbonate because acid is used up this uh, originally it was sulfuric acid but now it is not sulfuric acid now it is sodium sulfate solution so now it turned because we use excess now it is sodium sulfate solution and this is unreacted sodium carbonate So how we remove this unreacted sodium carbonate we'll use filtration so we use technique of filtration and we remove this unreacted sodium carbonate so once this unreacted sodium carbonate is removed now we are left with sodium sulfate solution and how to obtain a salt from the solution we can mention crystallization or evaporation but in exam try to write crystallization points as they are more in detail and you can include more points if you are writing about crystallization rather than evaporation so due to space i just reduce the font size so in this case what we do we add excess of metal carbonate like too much metal carbonate then we'll remove the unreacted metal carbonate by filtration then we'll use crystallization until we obtain the crystals so same points as you can see the three methods which we have discussed till now acid react with metal acid react with metal oxide or metal carbonate we use excess of the solid like too much solid until all of the acid is used up and we will have a salt solution and the unreacted metal the unreacted metal or metal carbonate or metal oxide is removed by filtration and then after filtration we use a process of crystallization 
to obtain this salt from the solution is it clear this technique any doubt to this point that how we obtain a salt from the three methods then the next method is acid plus metal hydroxide or base that uh, i will share another link and continue this